Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mystery Science channel and before we start this exercise, please subscribe on the channel and like this video. Now, let's go for our solution step by step. Determine the magnitude of the force F that must be exerted on the handle at C to hold the 75 kg crate in the position shown. Also, determine the components of reaction at the truss bearing A and smooth journal bearing B. So, first, we're gonna see how many reactions we have in A because of the truss bearing. We have AX, AY, and AZ. And because we have this type of reaction in B, we have only BX and B, Z. We don't have any reactions aligned with Y axis. Now, I'm gonna choose point A to find all our distance because I use this distance to find our moments. So first, our distance AB is equal 0I plus 1.1 minus 0J plus 0k. So our distance AB is equal 1.1 j meters. Now our distance AC that we have 0i plus 1.4 minus 0j plus minus 0 0.2 minus 0k. So our distance AC, whereas our force F is, is 1.4 J minus 0.2 K meters. And finally, we have our distance AW, whereas our weight is. So we have 0 0.1 minus 0 I plus 0 0.6 minus 0 j plus 0 k. So our distance from weight to where is the weight is, is 0 0.1 i plus 0 0.6 j. Now we're gonna find our equations for our moments is equal to the cross product between the arm length and the force. So here we're gonna first do force at C. So here I'm gonna build my matrix I, J, and K. So our distance is 0, 1.4 and minus 0 0.2. Here we have F we have 0 and 0. So building our matrix, we have this. So our moment AC is equal minus 0 0.2 F in J direction minus 1.4 F in K direction. Now, I'm going to build the matrix for force B. And then we have I, J, and K. We have 0, 1.1, and 0. And our forces B, X, 0, and B, Z. So our matrix, we have this how to solve our matrix so for a moment in b a we have 1.1 b z in i direction minus 1.1 b x in k direction and then finally our matrix for the force Weight, we have I, J, 
and k, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.6, and 0. We have 0, 0, and minus weight in our k direction. So we build our determinant to find our uh, problems. So we have minus our weight is 75 times 9.81 times 0 0.6 i and here we have minus 75 times 9.81 times 0 0.1 j so here we have minus minus so here we have plus correct sign for our determinant so here for our equations of equilibrium we have the sum of moments in x has to be zero the sum of moments in y has to be zero and the sum of moments in z has to be zero so starting with the moments in x we have 1.1 b z minus our weight that's for for 1.45 is equal to zero so our b z is equal to 401 newtons now we can move for our sum of moments in my is equal zero so here we have minus 0 0.2 f plus this value here so we have 73.58 is equal to zero so our force is equal 367.9 so our force in our 3c figures is 368 newtons so this is our force f now we have the sum of moments in z that's minus 1.4 f minus 1.1 b x is equal to zero so our b x is equal minus 468.4 newtons our b x is equal minus 468 newtons in three sig figures finally we can use a sum of forces in x is equal to zero so i have ax plus bx plus f is equal to zero my ax is equal 468 minus 368 our ax is equal to 100 newtons now we have the sum of forces in y is equal to zero the only force here is a y so our a y is equal to zero and finally the sum of forces in z is equal to zero so we have a z plus b z minus our weight 75 times 9.81 is equal to zero so our a z is equal 735.8 minus 41.3 our a z is equal 334.5 newtons in three sig figures we have a z is equal 335 newtons so this is our reactions and our four cf i hope you enjoyed this solution don't forget to subscribe on the channel and like the video thank you